So uh, model serving is being able to, uh, uh, you know, send your models to, uh, uh, you know, not, not just training your models, but sending them off to the uh, uh, cluster to be able to uh, use for, uh, you know, production for clients and stuff. And KServe allows you to serve your models. It's, uh, you know, runs on Kubernetes, so it's platform independent. Doesn't lock you into any particular customer. Um, it has sta standardized protocols, it's serverless. It has pluggable production serving. It does advanced deployments. Um, and uh, it supports both model serving and model mesh. So model serving, it, it, uh, with KServe, by default, it just does one model per pod. But with, if you use the model mesh, it allows you to do multiple models in one pod. So it allows you to do very high scalability. Um, KServe, it supports uh, multiple runtime models. Uh, Triton, Torch Serve, ML Serving, TF Serving, and Model Serve. And then there's different ways you can communicate with those uh, runtimes. You can use the, the most easy way, which is CRDs. You can also use HTTP and REST method. And then there's the Google RPC or GRPC. Now I'm going to hand it off to Ted to do uh, Racer. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Um, now we have some basic understanding of uh, model serving with KServe on Kubernetes. Now let's look at what is RayServe and how to integrate KServe with RayServe for parallel inferencing. Um, so let's understand from very high level what RayServe is. So it, RayServe is a scalable and programmable uh, serving framework built on top of Ray. So RayServe is framework agnostic. That means you can program Ray to serve deep learning model built with any framework, uh, such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, and SK Learning. Uh, RayServe also allows you to build a complex inference service uh, that's composed of multiple models and business logic, all in Python code. Um, so let's look at the KServe architecture. Uh, Rayserve is built on top of Ray. So what you're looking at is a Ray cluster uh, with one head node and a few worker nodes. So Rayserve is just an instance of a Ray cluster running additional Ray actors. Uh, so for example, the HD proxy actor uh, accepts incoming uh, requests and forward them to the replica. And then each replica will process an uh, individual request. And then once complete, uh, it returns the result. And the controller actor is uh, actually responsible for managing the other actors. Um, so let's look at how does the parallel inferencing work with KServe and RayServe. So by default, when you launch a KServe custom model serving runtime, uh, it would load the model and run the prediction uh, in the same process as the HTTP server. And also the inference happened inside the same process as well. And so that's why we need to enable RayServe. So when you enable the RayServe, the KServe would actually launch a RayServe instance. So with this separation, um, the models are deployed into the RayServe as multiple replicas. And then so the parallel inference can be performed uh, when the serving multi uh, when multiple requests when serving multiple requests, so let's look at uh, let's look at some code pa uh, uh, code snippet. Uh, how do we enable uh, RayServe uh, with KServe? So uh, this is a code snippet uh, created for KServe custom model serving runtime. Uh, for KServe, right, usually you just need to implement two KServe model handlers. Uh, for example, uh, the load function, uh, you would implement load function to load a model from somewhere into the memory. And then you also need to implement a predict. Uh, this predict would process your logic and then return the prediction result. And this is how you uh, write a basic uh, custom model semi runtime. Uh, in KSurf. And I have a QR code which you can download the full version of this code. 
and you can run this as a just any uh, regular Python service, and you can also send requests uh, to this custom model semi runtime and get some result back. And now let's look at how we enable RayServe uh, with KServe. So basically, there is some simple code pattern which you can follow. Uh, three steps, right? So first, you need to enable uh, Ray, and then second, you need you need to import Ray, and then Ray and RayServe, right? So second, you need to uh, decorate uh, your custom model with the, as a RayServe deployment. Uh, notice here, you can also specify the number of replicas. Right. The more replicas, the more concurrent uh, requests it will be able to process. And third, uh, we would need to start, start the model server a little different uh, with a different uh, parameter, uh, basically using a dictionary to start this. So I also have a full version of this code. Uh, you can scan the QR code and get a full version of it and run, a, and run, a Python, run as a Python process. process. And you can experiment the concurrency. Uh, you know, you can send multiple requests at once and experiment and experiment with the difference between the two. Now, uh, when we talk about KServe, uh, we also need to talk about uh, KServe model mesh, right? KServe model mesh is uh, another, you know, is another component in in KServe, which is designed for high scale, high density, and frequent changing model scenario. So it, it has its own intelligent uh, cache uh, that loads and unload model. Uh, so you could actually serve hundreds or thousands of model in a very small uh, cluster. And we actually, we actually have uh, a KSERF model mesh uh, included as one of the open source technologies in OpenShift AI, and also IBM's next-gen uh, AI platform is built on top of the OpenShift AI. And we have a few talks tomorrow regarding OpenShift AI, and some of those technology stack in the chart, uh, just in case you're, you, you're interested. Um, so yeah, that's it for our talk. Thank you very much.